everybody okay so today I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how I I don't know what the right way is or the wrong way is but how I apply cream blushes so the one that I'm gonna actually use today is from NYX and it's in the color golden so that's how it looks let me just show you the color quickly so that's how it looks it's more peachy than golden but it's called golden so let's just go so with what it. you want to use for this to apply it to your face I've tried it with many different ways which I'm just getting into how I hold on one second actually I should explain this hair right here um just ignore the hair I'm just going with the whole heatless curls that uh, that's what I'm going for so let's see how it's gonna turn out um, so yeah excuse the hair guys I'm sorry I'm just like blabbing on looking a little weird today so sorry so here's the thing I'm gonna use um, a stiffer brush you don't want to use a very soft brush because the whole product's gonna get stuck in it and it's just not gonna transfer to your face so you want to use a more stiff brush I'm using this little brush I don't know where it's from it's Hmm. I can't read it it's wiped off so anyway so what you do you just tap this in just a little bit doesn't look like there's a lot on there doesn't even look like there's a lot any on there but it does transfer to your face a lot so you just what you want to do is start from the back of um, where your ear is pretty much and apply it there and then bring it down to closer to wherever it is wherever you want it to end here's the thing you have to have to have to do your contouring before because if you do it after it's just gonna wipe off the whole cream blush so it's totally okay to have powder before your blush um, as long as you do your contouring you're fine so what I'm gonna do is just tr start from the side where I usually like to put my blush and bring it down so I'm just going circular. I hope you guys can see. Let me see if I can fix the stay on light and do 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 do. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just starting from the top and working it down. Same thing on the other side, starting from the side and working it down. Circular motions, I guess you could call it. So when you're happy with the color payoff, which this one is very pigmented, so I like to just really work it into my skin. I know, I'm kind of crazy with blush. Okay, anyways, so after you've done that, because it's a cream blush, what's going to happen, I'm just going to, I'm blending as we're speaking. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to go away in two seconds. So you do want to go over... Um, it perfect it's with um, a powder blush so two that I'm thinking I might want to use is this heart candy fox in a box which is in the color smooth talker looks like this hopefully you can see that's how it looks like um, so it's pretty much peach and orange colors in there and then um, I have this elf one here in candid coral looks like that this is my favorite blush it's pretty much orgasm Nars orga orgasm um, I love it so these two I'm thinking I'm gonna mix them so all you do take a blush brush and dab it in there and just go over it so again starting from the side of your ear going down side of your ear going down blending it into your contour so this blush is matte as matte could be <laughs> and this one is a very sparkly you probably can't see it but it's very sparkly that's why I like to mix them a little bit <laughs> so now all you do blend them into your contouring and that's it you're done that's it it's that easy just make sure you use a brush that actually will transfer the product to your face and not just inside the blush 
brush i cannot speak today and um that's all this is actually my favorite so if you're looking for a good neutral look this is it go ahead and get this one um so that's all for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye